Protests on the streets of Los Angeles following the anonymous leak of a year-old audio recording by the now former city council president Nuri Martinez uttering racist remarks in a private conversation with other council members. This white guy with a little black kid who's misbehaved. The kid is bouncing off the effing wall on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. The clip went viral on social media and sent shockwaves through a community that's been long grappling with racial tensions. And frankly, the response from the Latino community has been swift and clear. It has been one of condemnation and demanding the resignation of those involved. A day after the White House joined the public calls for their resignation, Martinez stepped down from her position. But council members Gil Cedillo and Kevin De Leon, who were part of that conversation, have so far ignored those calls. I will not resign because there is a lot of work ahead. There is a lot of work that we have to face, including the crisis that is taking place in the district, the infections, the unemployment, the threat of eviction, the humanitarian crisis of the homeless. Despite daily protests outside City Hall demanding no action should be taken until their resignation, the City Council elected Paul Krakorian as its new president, hoping for a fresh start. Uh, it'll be a presidency that relies on a leadership team of diverse abilities and diverse experiences and diverse backgrounds and diverse viewpoints. While pressure mounts, council members Leon and Cedillo have been removed from their committee duties. Gaining public trust with new leadership could be an uphill battle for the city council, as long as its members who were part of the racist conversation still continue to serve. And for many Angelinos, the scandal has been a bitter reminder of the local political dynamics that run along racial lines. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.